Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Eldrick Beer, a.k.a. Anal Attenuation on TalkDeer.com. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. My son made it to Nationals for Color Guard, so I've been hiding out of shame. Anyway, a lot of things have happened in the beer world, but probably the rarest thing to happen was the fact that Bourbon County was released by Geese Island, the rarest beer in the world. Only hundreds of thousands of bottles released to almost the entire nation. Oh my gosh, super rare. So anyways, every year people ask me, so I'm so good at drinking one-ounce pours with 18 of my friends in the Midwest backyard. Well, today I want to show you how to make rare BCBS variants right in your own home or sad divorcee studio apartment. Everybody wants to try rare, okay? It's the rarest beer in the world. But it's really not that complicated. All you gotta do is take regular BCBS and, well, first of all, you gotta get rid of that pesky boring barrel. You need to get something more expensive. This was in the glass case at BevMo, so I knew it was super expensive, and Benny's doesn't even carry it. Anyway, so what you gotta do is get it to that nice flavor point. Get it to the, the level where it's been around for five years, then you know it's gonna be amazing. I like to use this, because it speeds up all the enzymes. There you go, now that's perfect. You can practically trade it to anybody for the rarest beers in the world. All right, but other people ask me, what about vanilla BCBS? What about that? What about BCBS? Well, if you really want that fresh taste of vanilla that was brewed three years ago, which is really hitting its stride right now, all you gotta do is just get it that Cold Stone Creamery treatment. Shoot your hot ropes deep inside of it. Oh yeah, that's how you know you're a master brewer when you rely on heavy adjuncts. Oh yeah, oh man, that's perfect. Looks great. All right, the next question I get all the time is people ask me about the best barley wine ever made. Perfect to style, the best thing you've ever seen. Well, basically, first of all, you have to make something that'll be appeasing to people's weak palates. So just take your rare, and then all you have to do then is just take your BCBBW. I love BBWs, especially the ones I meet on Match.com. So anyways, one part rare, one part stout, one part BBW. There you go, the best Bourbon County barley wine in the world. It's very simple, super clarity. All right, anyway, there's a question I always get. What about the fruit deviants? Well, if you're a fruit deviant, then you already know it's pretty tough to land a lot of these super top-end beers. So, I'm gonna show you how to make bramble. If you wanna make bramble, just take two ounces of BCBS and then drop in two ounces of jelly. Oh yeah. You'll know you did it right if it doesn't taste like stout at all at the end. All right, what about cherry rye? For cherry rye, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get that really nuanced palate flavor of cherry NyQuil. Oh, it's amazing. There you go, we're using the Solera method. The Solera method was developed by Toyota where you use the same ingredients five times in a row. All right, but that's not enough. What you also wanna do for cherry rye is smash real cherries in like that. And you can also take cherry ricolas. I like those flavor. Then bam, you just got cherry rye. There it is. Some people ask me, all right, but what about backyard bramble or backyard rye? What I like to do is take fruit by the foot because this is the pretty much the key ingredient in it. And then you just drop that in there and you got backyard rye. It's pretty simple. <coughs> And that's pretty much it. And also, if you want to, you can garnish it. So anyway, we've already well covered hipster fixed gear coffee and things like that. But one thing we didn't cover is how to get an amazing coffee drink out of this. Because they use Intelligentsia. But what you want to do is up the adjuncts. Because adjuncts make the best beer. So I like to use Coffee Mate. This peppermint mocha makes the sweetest memories. Look at that. If that's not a perfect stout that you've ever seen, then you probably work for Perennial. All right. Everybody wanted me to try and review Propreciators. The problem with Propreciators was too hard to land, so I couldn't get those coconut notes. But I do have water babies from Copper Tone. So all we do is you just got to go like this and totally give it the water baby treatment. If you, have, if you don't have water babies, that's fine. You just go like that. Oh, yeah, totally Propreciators. Oh man, that's a super coconut clarity. It's got that nice ropey texture, that morning after plan B lacing. But I have to be honest with you. Earlier when I said I did not have a Propreciators, I was playing what's known as the Wrigley Trick. That's a Midwest lie, where basically you say you don't have a bottle when you really do. Here's a bottle of Propreciators. But one of the things about Propreciators is you gotta have something to balance out those coconut oils. 
It's not oily enough. It's too sweet. So what I like to do is I purchased a Baconator. So what we're gonna do is to balance out those sweet oils, we're just gonna go like this, smash the Baconator in, and give it a solid pour for appreciators. Oh yeah, look at that super clarity. It's like islandy, but it's also mar it's got marination. It's all oh, such saturation. So hopefully you've learned something about saturation and also attenuation points. And then you're ready to go. So I'm glad to see that everybody's doing okay. Benny should be paying me by this point. So get it at Benny's and don't drink beer.